All right. Hey, hey, how you doing? This is Eric from AHA Americans Helping Americans and AMP Live, the American Mentee Program. Um, coming here as promised, all right, we set up the event. It was going to go with one hour. Going to cram 30 minutes into one freaking hour, right? I mean, uh, 30 days into one hour. All right, share this with the marketplace. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, whoops. Sorry about that. All right, so I'm going to put on these. I'm going to go back and forth through these glasses here, right? Because the eyeballs are going. But we had some uh, technical difficulties. We had one of these go out and break. So um, we're using something else. All right, anyways, um, like I said, we're coming on here as promised. Wanted to share some things with you. Wanted to share how, on how to build a pipeline in under 30 days. Also, what's transforming and what's transpiring, I should say, uh, for 2021, are you geared up for 2021 and 2022? Because some exciting things and opportunities are going to be happening. They're happening now, as you know. Inventory, super, super low. Uh, but I do apologize for the delay. We're like about 30 minutes uh, late <laughs> or into, the, into, the, into uh, what we said we're going to do here. But uh, what can you do, right? You rock and roll. The show must go on, as they always say. You just get into it and you make things happen. That's why it says raw and uncut, right? We're not gonna alter the video in any way. Uh, we're gonna drop a lot of bombs and tips and things of that nature that you can use in your business today that are working today. We've been in the business since 2003. I've been doing this, the creative real estate investing side of the business for the last probably 18 plus years. Uh, I love what we do and I wanted to share that today. We're gonna do some more of these videos. Haven't done them in a while. Some crazy stuff's been going on in 2020 as we all know. Uh, if you have questions, go ahead and just type some stuff in there, and I'll answer it later. I'm not going to get to it right now. Uh, I don't have my sidekick with me to be able to moderate and see what's going on. So this is just uh, you and I, and whoever's watching this video, fast forward it to the good stuff, because you can use those things in the field today. I'm going to share those th things with you. Four things, four simple steps that you need to do to be able to build a pipeline within 30 days or less, Okay. And then I'm going to share a couple of things with you. I'm going to share the 30-day challenge that's coming up in mid-March. And yes, we're here. You know what? Uh, several years ago, right? It was March Madness. What happened to that shit? We're not seeing any of that stuff anymore. So let's do it. March Madness. Things are rocking. Things are happening. The market is going to start changing. The cycle is going to start changing. It's already happening because you can see inventory is low, right? Now, if we all had a crystal ball, some do. Some have been through the cycles and some have not. But the bottom line is that, hey, what I'm going to share with you are things that I've already experienced in others. Now, we may agree to disagree or agree to agree. That's awesome. doesn't matter. But thanks to the new mediums now of social media and all these things that are happening, we can share this stuff, right? Now, there's going to be some information probably somewhere in here uh, within the, uh, the actual uh, event. Or some links there, right? You can check out the website, amplive.net. You can take a look at the testimonials. You can also, there's some free stuff way at the bottom if you read through the whole thing. Be a little bonus there that'll probably go, it's, it shouldn't probably, it's gonna complement what we're doing today. So it should have some of the templates in there that I'm gonna share with you on how to go out there into the field and, and be able to you know blow up and explode your email, your text, and your phone with some leads, live, live leads of sellers that are truly out there that wanna sell, right? Of course, you gotta sift through them, and we're gonna go through all that. First and foremost, once again, here we are. So if it goes an hour, it goes an hour. I know it's a long time. If you have to, save the video or save it somewhere and then just go through the good stuff. But I'm going to talk to you about the four things that you need to do. And we're going to go through that slowly. Uh, but you've got to remember, we're going to cram in 30 days into about one hour to try to give you the Reader's Digest version of what we're going to do. We're also going to have the Amp Live Challenge that's coming out in the middle of March sometime, maybe in the next couple of weeks. If you want to join, cool, awesome. We also are firing up Amp Live the group. Now that's been old, it's been archived for a little bit. We're bringing it back only so we can go ahead and just share with select people that are interested in doing this business, whether you're an agent, broker, mortgage lender, doesn't matter, or a real estate investor, newbie, seasoned, does not matter. Come on in, share your wealth of information or grab some wealth of information, use it in your business, and we're gonna drop those things into the, the, the actual group, okay? Now, I know everybody has a group and it's mundane, it's you know over and over, it's been done, but hey, if we can give good content and share that content with you because we're always looking for good people to work with and vice versa, it is a selection process, right? So 
Yeah, we only want to have good people in there, no drama, no BS. Hey, let's just go in and help our fellow Americans because that's what we, uh, in 2010, <laughs> that was my, my, my mission statement. It still is today, right? One American at a time, one family at a time, one property at a time. Let's get Amer America back on track, right? And um, that was before all this crazy stuff started happening. And, but here we are again, and we're doing it again. But that's our mission statement, to actually help our fellow Americans throughout the whole United States in one way or another. I employ you and challenge you to do the same thing. Go out and help your fellow American. If you have not, do so. And you're probably doing it in real estate, which is awesome, right? But also do it for yourself and for your family to build a legacy, passion. So without further ado, let's just get into it and let's get started. Now, first and foremost, you got to have your mindset there. Your mindset has to be there. Okay, so there's going to be four elements. We're going to talk about the four elements that you're going to need to build your pipeline in under 30 days or less. If you do those things, I guarantee you, you will see results and you will be able to you know, follow through and either lock up some deals, write up some offers, but you, the most important thing is you have to have the art of the deal, right? You're gonna know, you're gonna have to at least, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, is how to employ the art of the deal, okay? The art of the deal, that's the only thing that has not really changed. You know, if you're savvy in that and you're, and you're good at doing that, the tools and all that other good stuff are great and lead gen comes in, but when you have leads and it does not work, or you think it does not work, or you're not making enough calls, it's not, that the tools don't work, it's the person, right? And I've been through that, trust me. You know, get on the phone, heck, I don't wanna call anybody, I don't wanna cold call, I want them calling me. And that's what I did back in 2003. I said, look, knock, knock on wood, right? Knock, knock, knock. I want them calling me, I want them to go to my website, I want them to fill out the information, I want them to tell me that they wanna sell their property, or they just want some free information, and we give it to them. Right? Hot lead is what I like to call them, right? And then fill out that information. You know, not the short form. Get an address, the telephone number, and you know, and, and maybe an email address, right? Uh, but I'd always like to go. And I always argue, hey, the short form or the long form? The short form or the long form? I like the long form. I'd rather have quality than quantity, right? And you can get a bunch of quantity, that's cool. If you got a small village and a team, go for it, right? And just go through them and go through them and go through them. But I'd rather have the quality and knowing that, hey, if they went ahead and called me or they filled out their stuff online or they reached out in some way and they pressed, you know, one for this recording or that recording and decided to go ahead and get the information on selling their house uh, or property or just want free information of some sort. So if you're an agent, this will work for you. If you're a broker, yes, it'll work for you. Real uh, mortgage lender or an investor who's new or seasoned, this will work for you, okay? I'm gonna share that with you today. And this video will float around and uh, you can, like I said, save it somewhere and keep it because we may take it down or we'll just move it to the, to the group and leave it there or just let it do its thing, right? It's all about free content and helping our fellow Americans and that's what we're gonna do, okay? So without further ado, the first step is yes, everybody who comes aboard and this is not about coming aboard, it's, I'm just gonna go through what happens in the first 30 days when we're working with each other, we're working with mentees and things of that nature, right? So it's gonna be like a welcome email, but it's actually a micro goal sheet, right? You gotta know, you gotta have some goals, right? You gotta have goals, you gotta have a target. If you don't have a target, then you're not gonna be able to achieve, or at least, you know, go where you wanna go. You know, you're gonna drive to a destination or a location, you don't have a map, then you're just gonna drive around and drive around and drive around and we're all guilty about that. We're all guilty, it happens to everybody. It's human nature, right? So, mindset, there's a bunch of books. I'm gonna share a couple with you, right? This one's an awesome one. Success Built to Last, still reading that one. This is my favorite, Napoleon Hill. Keys to Success, Business Bible, not to replace your regular Bible. Reference Guide. This is a cool one that I picked up from a broker here in California. How to say it? when you talk to yourself, right? But, you know, hey, we all talk to ourselves. That's so when you answer back. That's when it gets a little crazy, right? And then some other little books, you know, just keep, keep you got to have your mindset. It's all about here, your mind, your heart, and your soul, right? Now, I'm a God-fearing man, and I have uh, no qualms about telling anybody about that. I'm not here. I'm not a holy ruler, but I do believe in God, and I do pray. I do meditate. I do, you know, uh, I believe in frequency, and manifestation and all those things, anything you put your mind to, because the only thing you have control over is your mind, right? You can decide if you want to be a butthole in the morning, or you can decide if you want to be a jerk, or you can decide if you want to be angry, right? And uh, in our family, we try to keep that stuff going, right? Chaos is chaos, right? If someone's having a bad day, hey, it is what it's, it's going to be what it's going to be. I always say positive mental attitude, right? PMA. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it's all up to you. 
to decide if you want to have a bad day or not. So the same thing comes down when you're going to call somebody, you're going to talk to somebody, you're going to get involved in your business. Real estate is going to take you to where you want to get to. Unless real estate is your life and your passion, then amen, God bless you. Or if it's something that maybe you want to use to catapult to get you to your passion, whether it's music, art, maybe it's a restaurant, maybe it's something you want to do in your life, but you know that real estate is the one the thing that's going to get you there because there's bigger chunks of cash, right? But you got to earn it. You got to learn the art of the deal. And that does, you can't learn that on a bus tour for three days. You can't learn that at a seminar for two days, right? You can't learn that by watching a bunch of freaking videos. I know YouTube, University, all that great stuff. Cool. It works. It'll get you so far, but not all the way, right? And there's people that, hey, it worked. Great. Will they be in the business longer? Will they be in the business for a couple of decades like us? Maybe, maybe not. Everybody's going to go through their motions. So first and foremost is mindset number one, right? Number one, you got to have your mindset, you got to be reading, you got to have your morning ritual, and you got to do what you need to do because without that mindset, I'm going to tell you the tale of two people, right? One person goes out and does it, the other person goes out and does it too. This one it works for and this one it doesn't, okay? And, and we're all guilty of that, right? We're going, why does it work for that person but not for me? Well, the mindset's different, right? You know, maybe it's brand new to them or maybe it's not or maybe they made a decision to set a goal. To say, look, this is what I'm going to achieve. Now you got a target, so now you know what I'm saying. We're not talking about micro goals, right? <laughs> one month, two months, six months, one year, two years, five years, ten years. And yes, we can argue about the five and ten year goals. Oh, you're never, you, know, you shouldn't write those out. But hey, I do. Why not? You, know, you got a target, some type of target, and you're going to have doubters out there. You're going to have people who are going to tell you this and tell you that, and it's going to have negative energy. You know, you either, you either kill them with positive mental attitude or kill them with positive energy or you move on, right? Because it's, 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 it's like a virus, like this Chinese virus thing, right? <laughs> but, but I'm not going to get into any of that. Uh, the bottom line is a virus is a virus and it can infect you. It can infect your mind. So you have to have a solid mindset when you get into this business or continue to do this business because we're going to have bad days. Bad people are going to rub on to us, right? But if we can love them and hug them, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we're not going into the 60s or any of that, right? Uh, bottom line is yes, but love is, you know, it's part of the human, it's part of human nature, okay? So I'm going to go from the mindset, super important, have your goals ready, a micro goal sheet, what do I want to achieve in, in the next month, two months, three months, six months, two years, five years, right? Then the other thing that's super important is how to break down deals. Do you know how to break down deals? Now, you may, new, may be new, you may be seasoned, or you may be going, yeah, I got that covered, no problem. Let's get to the stuff, right? Let's get to how I'm going to build a dorm pipeline in 130 days. Well, we're going to get to that. But the bottom line is that you have to understand how to break down deals, right? We're working with mentees throughout the United States. Some get it, some don't. It takes a day, two days. It's not that difficult. Everybody has their own way of doing stuff, right? Saying, hey, I'm going to go with the contractor uh, mode, or I'm going to go with the, you know, the appraiser mode, or I'm going to go with the real estate agent BPO type mode. But a CMA is a CMA. It's a comparable market analysis based on a property. Now, if you know what an ARV is, awesome. In the real estate world, it's a different, right? ARV is just after repair value. You gotta have your repairs, right? All repairs are not $20,000. <laughs> like a lot, of, a lot of new wholesalers just throw 20,000 bucks or they hear what they hear and then they don't confirm that stuff and they don't study and then they don't put in the work that's needed. They just go for it, roll the dice. Stop rolling the dice, have a plan, take action, Study, that's what I did. I had to make sure and study and study and then I put it into place, tested it, prayed, it worked. Rinse and repeat, right? Be coachable, follow directions, right? Take action, the most important part. Just like Cardone says, 90% of it is showing up to the damn party. Show up, show up, show up. If you show up and you take action, you're going to get results. It's guaranteed, you're gonna get results, good or bad. If they're good, then you rinse and repeat. and Figure out why it worked. If it didn't, then there's a disconnect and something's wrong. It means you're not doing something right. I'm going to hand over some things to you. Um, I believe it's in the links down there. Way at the bottom, some type of bonus, right? It's a PDF. It'll have some simple stuff that you can use. Um, just go out and fill out a simple email and stuff. We're not going to spam you. I hate spam and all that crap. But the bottom line is you can use that. We'll send it off to you. If you want to join the group, you want to chat and work, or if you want to go ahead and type in some stuff here, I'm not going to answer any of that stuff right now until the end or after the video or in between a PM or, you know, or while we're doing the stuff, right? Because otherwise I got to use these funky things and uh, go back and forth. And I want to give you the most uh, value just for watching this and, and being able to use what I'm going to tell you 
in the field to be able to help you build that pipeline in under 30 days, okay? Also, you need to gear up for 2021 and 2022. Are you geared up? Hopefully you are, okay? There's no, there's no crystal balls out there, but shit is happening, right? Shit is gonna happen. Foreclosures are coming, short sales are gonna happen, the market's gonna adjust, are everything doing great right now? Of course it is. Look, properties are going up every year, right? They're at like 10, 12, we start getting 13, 14, 15, bubble, right? I'm not a start, stock market master in, in, in any way, but the bottom line is the indicators are there, right? It's gonna happen, moratoriums are happening, forbearances are happening, right? Some people are getting foreclosed. They're moving forward in the foreclosure. Maybe they're getting postponed or the auctions are coming down the wire. We actually just uh, got a campaign in uh, Palmdale, Lancaster, right? Southern California. People responding, yeah, there's some people in foreclosure, right? Do they need help? Yes. Are they responding, raising their hand? Yes. All right, so now we got to call them and see how we can help them out. Either buying their property or helping them with uh, some type of loan or something. So we don't know. Just the bottom line is we got to go through the motions. I'm not going to share it because that's... That's beyond the scope of this, uh, of this call or this actually meeting, okay? So next is how to break down those deals, man, All right? Uh, guys and gals, and depending, depending on where you're at, it used to be 85% minus repairs, then 75% minus repairs. Now they're down to 70% minus repairs, all in with your fee and everything else. If you're a real estate wholesaler or real estate investor or you're wanting to buy real estate, uh, the buyers are wanting to buy at 10%, right, return on investment. You got some volume investors out there that are doing six and seven percent all in of the return on investment. Then you got your you know investors on a smaller scale. They need to get uh, 10, 15, 20 percent. And then you got your uh, crazy unicorn investors who are looking for a 30 percent return investment net. Good luck. They're out there, right? Uh, but you're gonna have to dig hard and hope maybe you're amused and you'll find them in the beginning, in the middle, or at the end, right before you quit. Uh, or you won't find them. Maybe you'll do a deal or two a year. I don't know. But the bottom line is if you find something like that, the money's out there, just like my mentor used to tell me. I'd say, hey, do the deal. If the deal is good enough, the money is out there, and somebody will write a check. And if it's 30%, you might as well take the deal down yourself. Don't wholesale it. You'll make a lot more money doing it yourself and finding someone to help you, right? That's what I did back in the day uh, in the last cycle. And, uh, you know, you just got to take a leap of faith. Pray, go for it, rinse and repeat, figure out what worked, what didn't work, keep what worked, and eliminate the stuff that didn't. But as, any, as, as the market goes, you know, we're in uh, real estate cyclical, right? So it's going to have its ups and downs, just like the economy. It's built that way. We're in a capitalist country. This is the way it works, right? Even though things are trying to change and people are trying to change these things, but that's not going to happen because we're not going to allow it to happen, right? So the bottom line here is that when you learn how to break down those deals, ARV. We're just looking for properties that we know we can put on the market and sell. Now we know, I'm gonna use a little, I'm gonna drop some S-bombs here. You know what, you can put a market, on any house on the market, it could be a turd and it's gonna sell, right? Now, finding the properties, it's a little bit different. You can find those deals, just like my mentor used to tell me, right? You make your money when you buy it, not when you sell it. You make your money when you buy it, not when you sell it. Because if you buy it right, you can dump it and still make money. You can. You know, you do what needs to be done. You're either going to wholesale it, you're going to list it, or you're going to fix it up and resell it, or you're going to keep it. Keep it and run it through the cycle, right? Buy and hold that piece of property. Keep that piece of property, because hindsight is 2020, right? Should have kept a lot of properties in the last cycle, but you, do, you, you live and learn, right? So you buy it, you keep it, rent it out, and wait for the next cycle to do its thing, and then dump it or dump your money out from wherever you got it and put it into some multifamily or if you have the ability to get into multifamily. What I'm gonna share with you works with multifamily, commercial, retail real estate, and single family real estate, it does not matter. The principles are the same, as long as you go out and do it, breaking down the deal is a little different, right? Because it's gonna be different than a single family from a multifamily from a retail, uh, retail or commercial property. Those things are totally different. You gotta have the P&Ls and all the other good stuff, prospectus and everything, it's awesome stuff, but you gotta know how to do it. But it still comes down to the same thing, the art of the deal, right? The art of the deal. You gotta learn how to negotiate. You can have all kinds of leads, but if you, uh, if you can't lock those up and your conversions suck, guess what? You're not gonna lock anything up. If it's, maybe you'll get lucky, but you gotta follow up. You gotta follow up, follow up, follow up, and if you wanna squeeze your list to, 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 to the bone, <laughs> 
then you have to call that list at least five, six times, right? Now I'm talking about data. I don't want to jump around too much, but the art of the deal, uh, we're going to talk about um, how to break down those deals, right? So right now, people are looking, investors are looking for 70, 75% all in, meaning that, hey, you got a property for 300,000, repairs are about 30, 40,000, you're going to minus those repairs and that's going to be your base. Once you have your base, then what you need to do is take that base, right? And then you're going to times it with the simple 60, 65, and 70 percent, or I like to call it 60 and 70, 60, 65, and 70 cents on the dollar. Same thing, whatever works for you. For me, that works for me. Take it. So even if it's a 65 cents on the dollar, 65 percent on the uh, 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 on uh, 65 percent LTV, loan to value, then you're going to come out with your base number. That's going to be your offer. Offer one, offer two, and offer three. All right. So then you would serve that up to whoever you're going to, you know. Make an offer to, if it's a seller or, or you know just a, any any lead that comes down the wire from after what I'm sh going to show you on how to find these sellers, right? Whether they're for sale by owner, pre foreclosures, probates, vacant properties, it doesn't matter. Whatever property it is, and you have to go through and qualify your your sellers, your buyers, investors, agents, brokers, because they're all going to come down the wire, right? Uh, but w when you're doing this type of stuff. So we're looking at 70% all in, right? Or 75% all in, an investor will buy that. All that means is that it includes your fee. So real estate agents and brokers, remember, there's others out there that gotta make money too, right? And including the, uh, the wholesalers uh, or other investors, or there's a lot of investors who wanna buy and then they say, hey, you know what? I'm not gonna fix and flip this. I'm gonna unload it to my fellow investor. That's awesome, cool. Same thing, you can call it wholesaling, you can call it whatever you want, you can call it creative real estate, because that's where it came from. It came from the commercial commercial side of the business. All you're doing is selling paper. Is it legal? Of course, it's per per perfectly legal. Uh, you, but you have to have some type of equitable title to be able to sell off that paper. And as long as it's not in the contract and says, because every contract is assignable, I don't care what anybody says. And well, the attorney says it's okay, right? <laughs> that's what the attorneys say, anyways. And by no means am I giving legal advice or tax advice. Uh, and if you do, it's just for you know, entertainment purposes. There's the disclosure, full disclosure at the end of the day. Take the video and use it in your business however you want to, right? But the bottom line is we're here to share with you on how to do that. So if you're getting your property ARV, 300,000, you got 300, you got 30,000 repairs minus that, you're going to have your base, then you're going to times it, times it by, by uh, at least 60, 65, and 70 cents on the dollar. Don't forget to put in your fee in there. And that's what you're going to sell it to an investor for, right? And, or take it down. At least the numbers are going to work for you. I'm not going to get into the, the, uh, the numbers and how they actually work, but you need to know how to break down deals. Especially if you're an agent and, or a broker and you're working with an investor, you need to learn that stuff. Because if you're going to serve up a bunch of deals to investors and there's only enough room for you to get paid, you're going to have issues, right? They're not going to want any of your stuff. There's got to be enough in there for them, so it's important to qualify your investors, qualify your buyers. What is your criteria? What are you looking for? Uh, some are different. Right? Oh, I just need $100,000 in every deal. Okay. I just need to make a minimum of $35,000 in every deal. I need to make a minimum of 50, dollars right? Uh, I need 10% return on investment net, right? And then on a multifamily, it's different. I need a cap rate of this, cap rate of that, six, seven, eight, depending on what country, not country, what state it's going to be, right? And then go from there, okay? So once you're done breaking down deals and you understand that concept, the next is you better get some role play in, right? You know, we use a lead gen form. And in that lead gen form, that's all it does. Do one thing. You know, tell us about your property. Tell us, you know, why you want to sell. All the way down to what's on the first, what's on the second, who's your bank, what do you owe, what's the interest rate, all that good stuff. And we continue to move forward, and then we set up and set the stage with the call and with our three magical questions. Would you sell your house for what you owe? Yes, no, need more information? Or would you be willing to take some equity in the form of like an annuity, right? Yes, no, need more information? Or would you allow us to take over your monthly mortgage payment? Yes, no, or need more information, right? A lot of times it's no, and sometimes it's yes, and sometimes I need more information. And the need more information, even when they say no, a lot of times, sometimes, that's where we get into the creative real estate investing side of things. We'll buy the property subject to existing financing. We'll write up an option. We'll do some type of terms. We'll do some seller financing. If you don't learn those things now, don't wait till it's too late, right? 2021, 2022, it's going to be too late uh, to, to be able to compete with the ones that have experience like us 
or ones that are up and coming who are who have experience in learning those things, right? Because that's going to be your niche. That's what's going to help you survive through the real estate cycle. From the foreclosures to the short sales to the REOs and then back to the bottom of the barrel of where it bottoms out and then things start recycling again, right? And the banks will always get the houses back because that's the way it's set up, unfortunately, right? And Americans are always going to do what they're going to do. But if you have some knowledge, and I'm kind of giving you my crystal ball from the last cycle, and then there's other investors who were in a cycle before that, right? And things, just you just look at cycles and trends. We went all the way back to 1906, looked at cycles and trends every 20 years and things that happen, and kind of look at a crystal ball and hate speculating. But you go with the facts and you go with what's there and you go with the things that have happened in the economy and you go for it, right? But stuff's going to happen. So tremendous opportunity is coming if you're going to get into the real estate business. But you better work on your art of the deal, your negotiating skills. Because when, say, when people call and sellers call, investors call, agents call, you need to qualify them, right? Not the other way around. You get to decide who you want to work with. So role play is very important. That's step number three, right? Role play. In other words, understanding the mechanics and the psychology behind asking the right questions, right? Because what your whole job is, is to build a relationship, because this is a relationship business, right? And then you need to provide a solution based on the questions that you've asked and the answers that they've given back to you to do what? To provide a solution for them, right? And if they like you, then they're going to do business with you because that's just the way it is, right? doesn't matter what you got. Of course, they're going to look at the credibility. They'll look at your website. They'll look at what you've done. They'll look at your social media. They'll look at your branding, your logos, the colors, all that good stuff, right? Hence, Amp Live back there, right? And we got AHA, Americans Helping Americans. And then what you stand for. Then they'll decide if they want to do business with you, right? And if you can get past that, then the next part is qualifying the seller, right? Tell me about your property, how are you doing? You know, here, I'll give you a little taste. Ring, ring. Hi, can I speak to Jim? Yeah, this is Jim. Hi, Jim, how you doing? This is Eric from AHA Americans Helping Americans. I want to talk to you about your property. You had a property for sale at 1234 any house in city and state, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, sure, what do you need to know? Did I catch you at a bad time? Oh, no, 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 go for it. What, what do we need to know? Well, can you tell me a little bit about the property? It's a three bedroom, two bath house. And then you keep rolling, right? Get them to talk about what they know, right? If you get them to talk about what they know, some of those walls are going to come down. You're building a relationship and you're building it on the phone. You're not going straight for the juggler, right? And then trying to, you know, go in and, and you know, and, and make offers. People do that. That's okay. If it works for you, cool. You better have a small village, throw a bunch of spaghetti at the wall, rock and roll. If it works for you, cool. Hey, you know what I mean? Why not? But building a relationship, and this is a relationship business, so you're gonna build a relationship if you're a real estate agent or a broker, if you're a real estate wholesaler or an investor, still doing the same thing, right? They're gonna work with you because they like you, because you can provide solutions to them. And then you're gonna ask them about their property. Tell me about the property. How's the kitchen? How's the bath? How's the, you know, the roof? Get all that information. And then we like to go back and say, well, you know, do you need a Saturday house fast, yes or no? They're gonna tell you. Just stay quiet. Let them answer the question. They're going to tell you yes or no. If it's a no, it doesn't matter. Keep rolling. What's the situation? Why are you selling the property? Right? We want to know. They'll tell you. If you ask the right questions, uh, they'll tell you everything. And I always say this, everything from birth until now, if you do it right. There's some people that won't get that far because they're not asking the question the right way. They'll ask the question, but we'll ask the same question in a different way. We'll get what we need. The others won't until you learn that. That's just assimilating, assimilating and following, following through. Because there's times where, like when I want to lock up deals and go a little off track, I would um, try to wing it. And when I winged it, it didn't work. And then I had to read word for word uh, on closing the deal, on the way I needed to do it. And, and it didn't sound like me, but I went ahead and said it, put the pen on the table, shut my mouth, and waited for them to respond. Now, they'd either have questions or they pick up the pin and sign on the dotted line and contract was done, okay? Sometimes you got to get uncomfortable to get comfortable, right? Sometimes you have to do certain things and try certain things and if it works for you, you keep it. I kept it. And my closing ratios went from 20 to 30 to 40 to 50 to 80%, believe it or not, right? 
Ripley's believe it or not, bottom line is, is because there's a process involved. We're touching them seven times before we go. We're making sure that they're gonna sign on the dotted line if we have a deal for them, right? We're gonna walk the house and we're gonna walk it a certain way. We're gonna break bread in the kitchen and work a deal. We're not gonna be the car salesman stuff. We're gonna drop seeds on the back end. Uh, and then they're gonna decide, Eric, or whoever I'm with, can you do this and can you do this and can you do this? Because we drop those seeds. And then we drop our ego and we let them sell us. That's part of the process, that's part of the art of the deal and some of it, right, we'll get into that if you join the 30 day challenge that we're gonna be doing this month and probably following other months, but it's March Madness, man. We gotta rock and roll. I want you guys to rock and roll. I want you to be able to go out there and hunk down on deals and go, oh, there's no inventory. And I want you to go out and find tons of inventory because you're gonna do it, you will, if you hunt and you go for it and you become a master at the art of the deal. Okay. Become the professional that you know you can be, and if it's a passion for you, then it's easy peasy. If you're doing it just because of money and all the other wrong reasons, then it's probably not going to really work for you. You know, There's a thing called manifestation, the universe, God, all these things need to fall into place when you're ready for it, and when your eyes are open, right? then God sends you those boats of opportunities, and then you rock and roll and you go for it. All right? So role play is super important, right? and we do that inside the group, or, uh, and we will. Uh, with some, uh, if you if you join, or the 30-day challenge, or if you get involved with our six-month one-on-one mentoring program, AMP Live, the American Mentee Program, we do that now. We're doing some role play with mentees across the United States. It doesn't matter where you're at. Grass is always greener on your side of the fence, not on the other side. A lot of people want to do this virtual wholesaling stuff. There's deals right there where you're at. And if you have family members and you got some good boots on the ground, then go for it. Go for the virtual stuff, right? You know, I won't get into any stories, but you know, there's a couple of stories we have with some people that are local in California. They just got frustrated. They had a bunch of pre-foreclosures. Didn't know the art of the deal. Got the leads. Believe it or not, used crappy bandit signs. <laughs> and got a bunch of pre-foreclosure leads here in Ontario, Ontario, California, and blew them all. Why did he blow them all? Because they were making offers on the freaking phone. They got, they got uh, insulted. And then call back. They went MIA and said, you're crazy. They didn't build a relationship first with the seller. You have to build a relationship with that seller. You got to provide that solution. Went straight for the juggler and lost them all. Then figured, well, you know what? I'm going to try this virtual wholesaling stuff. This has got to work better. Okay, you can do it, but you better have a small village. And you're going to write tons and tons of offers and throw some spaghetti at the fucking wall. Excuse my French, right? It'll work. It'll work. It's a numbers game, right? And, and you know... And get it rocking and rolling. Go for it. If it works for you, go for it, man. Uh, but the same token, you know, hindsight's 2020 20 for that young man. You know, he's probably either out of the business or maybe he's rocking and rolling. I haven't talked to him in, in you know, several months. But that was the case. I already knew what was going wrong. And that was him trying to go for the juggler and not trying to build a relationship with the seller and getting the right information and just wanted to write an offer, write an offer, and make an offer, right? That's probably what he's told to do or he watched it on YouTube University somewhere. It is what it is. The role play is super important. Now, the role play we use, we use a lead gen form, right, or a micro lead gen form. It usually says your name. It could be Alan. It could be Steve. It could be Lisa. Make me an offer. That's all you need. We go for the long form. Get all the information. Do the submission. You get a copy. We get a copy. We work it together. If you're doing this business yourself, it's okay. I'm going to share some of that stuff. You go build it. You go make it happen. And, and you, But learn how to do the art of the deal. Learn how to negotiate and extract that information, psychological information that you're going to need, right, to provide a solution. How do you provide it? It's like a doctor. A doctor's going to ask you, how are you feeling? How's it going? Does this hurt? Does that hurt? And then they're going to diagnose you. That's exactly what we're doing as a real estate investor, agent, broker, loan officer, is we're doctors. We're professionals. And we're going to diagnose how we can help you. If we can help you, we're going to do it. If we cannot help you, right, and red flags come up, you don't want to give us information, you're unscrupulous, you're not transparent, <laughs> uh, you're dishonest, you know, we're going to give you three chances to hang yourself. That's what I always say when we're mentoring training and talking to sellers, right? Including buyers, brokers, agents, investors, doesn't matter, same thing. If for whatever reason those red flags pop up and we use our rebuttals and at the end of the day, uh, you know, it just doesn't seem like a fit. We'll move on. Let somebody else deal with those people. 
Let somebody else handle those red flags and hopefully they don't get burned in the end, right? And that's what you literally tell them. Hey, we're probably not the company for you. Hopefully it works out for you. Hopefully don't get burned by a real estate agent, broker, another investor. This is just not a fit. You have a great and wonderful day. And we stay silent and we wait and we wait and we wait. Sometimes they think we hung up on them. Other times, hey, you know, are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. Okay. Then they'll go ahead and tell you, okay, well, what's on the first? Well, you know, uh, this is what I owe. I do this and that, that. I got nothing to hide. Um, you know, I'm super honest. I get it. What do you need to know, Eric? Right? And we move forward. Other times, like, I just don't. No, I'm not going to do it. Okay. Well, you have a great, wonderful day. This time, it's the real, dude, goodbye. Move on. Right? So you pick and choose who you want to work with. Super important. Totally different than what's out there. Right? And, and, and we do what we do because it works. When you find something that works, you do it. Monetize it. Keep on working it. Fill that niche, right? That's what's going to separate you from the sheep and going in this direction, which is your direction. And even if you come aboard and work with us and we're taking the road less traveled, the goal is to break off like a tree. Break off like a tree and do your thing, right? But at least you're going to create your path. That means almost like creating your own pond, fishing in your own pond, dealing with your niche and becoming the master at your niche, right? That's what's going to make you money. That's what's going to help you expand and grow your business, your legacy, your passion, and the things that you want to do in life, okay? And it's going to help you get to where you want to get to. Some of the things you may have heard, that's, I get it. It's cool. It's awesome. Maybe you read about it in books. Maybe you watch videos. The bottom line, too, so role play, role play, role play, art of the deal, learn it, right? Um, become it. And from, from doing that, I guarantee you're going to get the results, and you'll be able to lock up more properties, and your conversions are going to be better than they, were, than they are now if you practice on that, right? And remember, clauses and contracts, super important, right? Clauses and contracts are going to make you money. Structuring the deal correctly is going to make you money. Sorry about that. Mouth is getting dry. <laughs> but part of the role play is just that. The art of the deal is learning those things, right? Psychology back behind what you're doing. We're not doing like, yeah, it's a little bit of sales 101, and I hate to call it sales, but you're just talking, having a regular conversation with sellers, buyers, agents, brokers, depending on what side of the fence you're working, right? And providing that solution and making sure that it's a common thing, that you got common ground to work together, right? It's not worth it to work with somebody who's unscrupulous, not transparent, or it's just not going to work out, or a lot of double talk, or you got to remember, people lose trust when you make mistakes, you know, one mistake, two mistakes, three mistakes, or you say one thing, then do another Stick to it. You're better off sticking to it and eating it. Eat whatever's on your plate if you make a mistake. If you can work it out, great. If you can't, then you should be the one eating it, right? Or the other person should be the one eating it, right? Because that's what you agreed to do. Excuse me. It's always about taking care of the seller. Take care of the seller at all costs, right? Take care of the seller, then your investors, and then yourself. If you can do that, make it a win-win-win situation where everybody can sleep at night then you got a deal. You got something there you can continue to move on and have a legacy in your business, right? So after doing role play and you are confident that you can take these leads down and, and working on your conversions, of course, as you get more leads and you're working leads, your conversions and practicing is going to get better and better and better. It's just like practicing, right? You know, people, rock stars and musicians don't just start playing guitar and come out and do albums, right? Well, some are, some protégés, but a very, very small, small, minute amount of people are like that, right? But they got to practice and practice and practice and practice for hours and hours and hours, right? To become an expert. Four, five years, right? Thousands of hours to become an expert. I do know this, that if you don't quit, you will become an expert. If you don't quit and you keep on going, I don't care if it takes one year, two years, five years, ten years, fifteen, twenty, thirty years, you will accomplish what you want to accomplish. I've seen it happen. I know it's happens. I know it does happen, right? And I won't get into too much of that stuff. But, but the bottom line is that the facts are there. So uh, after role play, we're going to get into step number four, okay? Step number four is obviously deals, right? Property. Surfing for deals. It's, a coin, it's something we've coined. Now, there's all kinds of hybrids and different things about it, but we've been doing it since 2010. It's surfing for deals. It's kind of like driving for dollars, or you're just looking for inventory and product online. Craigslist, Zillow, Facebook marketplace it doesn't matter wherever sellers are selling their property that's where you want to go okay 
And what we use is a template, simple template, copy and paste. Don't change it. Leave it alone. It works every single time. Yes, you got to dig. If you're part of the challenge or part of the six-month one-on-one mentoring, we give you a shovel in the beginning so you can learn how to do this, which I'm going to do for you right now. I'm going to give you the shovel, which is the manual way to do it. And doing the copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste, do about 10, 15, 20 of those. You're going to get about a 30, 40% response rate. Meaning you're going to get a bunch of emails back and the ones that are going to give you addresses and yes, cash, no terms, what is terms, no, I need cash. Some are going to be agents and they shouldn't be, you know, obviously marketing as a for sale by owner unless they own the home. Uh, but you'll get that. Uh, others are, that's what you're looking for, the nuggets, the for sale by owners, the ones of the stress sellers, the probates, the tax defaults, the divorce properties, all that good stuff. And people will put that stuff online to try to sell it themselves. Instead of trying to pay a real estate agent, I don't want to, I don't want to pay a real estate agent. Or I don't have $50,000 to fix up my property so I can get retail. Otherwise, I would have listed it a long time ago and took my cash and ran. There's people who got to move. There's a lot of job issues right now, right? I got a job relocation. I got to go here. I got to go there. You know what? Foreclosures are going to be happening. It is what it is. And if you're there to help out your fellow American in that capacity, awesome. Also, help out your fellow American means your investors, your wholesalers, you know, just people that want to do business. If they're transparent, honest, hardworking, coachable, can follow directions, right, can take action, then those are the people you want on your team. Put them on your team. Share them some stuff. Put them under your wing and help them out, right? Doesn't mean give them the whole enchilada. Just say, hey, let me see. Make me, give me an excuse to write you a check. That's what I used to do last cycle, still do today. Give me an excuse to write you a check. If, you, if I'm writing you a check in 30 days, you're valuable. You're adding value to the person who's working with you. If you decide you got some knowledge, you want to take a couple people under your wing, and they're, getting va they're adding value to you, then you keep them. If they're not adding value to you, then you know what you need to do. You got to cut them loose. Sorry, it's not working for you. It's not for you. And this is not for everybody. Even with us. AHA Americans Happen Americans and AMP Live is not for everybody. Right? We're not for everybody and everybody's not for us. We know when we're, you're ready for us. When you've been kind of beat up a little bit, spent 50K at this thing, 40K at that thing, two grand for this for a bunch of videos and all kinds of other stuff, nobody does one-on-one -on -one mentoring because the model doesn't make you a ton of money, right? The way we do it. It's just the way it is. But when I decided to do this in 2010 is to say, look, we're going to do that. There's got to be reciprocal. There's got to be a reciprocal way where we can do this business, okay? where we can help everybody and help our fellow Americans still make things work. We're not having to charge somebody 50 grand to do some one-on-one -on -one mentoring or sell a bunch of videos and all that stuff. So without further ado, let's get to step number four, surfing for deals, okay? Give you a template. It's gonna say some stuff, it'll have your name, have a couple of things in there to get them to qualify themselves, right? Get that, get the seller to qualify themselves. If there's no address, they're gonna give you an address. If they don't give you an address, you ask for it. You copy and paste, you do that, and you move on with your business. As the leads start coming in, then you start working them, you start calling them, you start texting them. 10% of the people will fill out that lead gen form to come for their own home. And I will say this, we're all humans, right? We're all, we're all lazy at one time or another, and some people just won't fill it out. Or they're gonna fill out, oh, this is a scam, this is a robot, this is a bot. Um, I just don't feel comfortable. Call me, please. All right, cool. 90% of the people you're gonna call. Call them, build that relationship with them. Go through the lead gen form, get them to talk about their property. Go through the whole thing. Go through the whole thing and, and get that submission. When you get that submission, that's a hot lead. You gotta turn a cold lead into a warm lead into a hot lead. Once you got that hot lead and you qualify them, then you can set that appointment. Set the appointment, go to the property or view the property or write the offer. If you can do it all virtual, however you're gonna do it, make that offer. If you get it accepted, you got a deal. Right? That's the first part. Now, if you got the deal, awesome. Now you got to go to the second part, and that's unloading the property or fixing and flipping, buying and holding, whatever you're going to do with it. The bottom line is that's a whole other phase, and that's beyond the scope of this call or this meeting. So, surfing for deals, right? Without further ado, if you explode your email, your text, your phone with leads where sellers want to sell for one reason or another, right? They're either selling because, yes, they don't, you know, don't want to pay a real estate agent. Or they figure, you know, I sold properties before. I can sell all these pro I can sell this property. I've sold five properties already in the past, you know, 20 years. Great. Cool. They may get it. They may not. We know what's going on, right? You put a turd on the market, it'll sell. But if you have a turd, sometimes it's a little hard. You're not going to get full, full market value for a property that needs a lot of work. It needs to be fixed up. 
All right? And there's going to be some people who just don't want to pay a real estate agent. You can find a seven, eight, nine hundred million dollar property, or in the Midwest, you know, 20, 30, uh, 200, 300,000 bucks, right? And maybe you're an agent or a broker and you go find those properties where other people are not finding them. If you're a real estate investor or a wholesaler, you're looking and, and you're fishing in pools, all right? Now, there's other people going to be fishing there, right? That's fine. But the one who's going to get it is the one who strings that line to go after an exact type of fish for sale by owner, someone who needs a sell. A distressed owner, probate, you never know what you're going to get at the end of the line, but you do know that you're going for a for sale by owner, right? Because it's not listed. That's off-market property, valuable to other people, investors, agents, listing agents, brokers, all that good stuff. It's off-market, means money, right? So you go after those properties, you copy and paste, do your 10 to 20 a day. Can you imagine you do 10 to 20 a day? There's some people who do 20 in the morning, 20 in the evening, 20 at night, if there's enough inventory rolling around. Others just do 10. It takes them a little longer. I always say 15 to 20. If you can do that every day for five days, right? That's 100 times four. It's 400 leads, right? 400 replies with a 30% response rate, about 30. Three times four, 1,220. 120 leads to work in a month from your own pool. Free, of course, you know, time, right? Or you can have somebody. If you got an assistant, pay them. You got a, whole, a VA, pay them. You got a friend or someone you want to pay them, you got a bird dog, show them how to do it. This is all they need to know. They don't got to know all the mechanics. Do this, 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 and this, and that. Thank you. Boom. Forward the leads to me when you're ready. Because you're the acquisition manager or wherever you're at in your business, right? Be the rainmaker, right? And then you take on that stuff. And you go ahead and you qualify them and move forward and either turn it into a deal or not. If they're not ready, then yeah, you should have a CRM, should have a so text marketing drip, email drip to nurture those those leads for the ones that have not raised their hands yet or said I'm just not quite ready because some of those people are gonna say oh no I got it sold okay well if you don't sell the property keep my information and I'll be more than happy to get you an offer than 24 to 72 hours I'll cash our terms and a lot of times so well thank you very much a month later hey do you still are you still looking at buying are you still are you still interested in my property right that's where the stuff happens follow-up follow-up they say magic's in the follow-up money's in the follow-up it's true you have to follow up, but you got to have a system in place to follow up, right? You can do it from a spreadsheet. That's awesome. If you got, you know, that works too. But get a CRM, and I'll turn you on to different CRMs. And trust me, we've looked at them all. There is no special CRM. There's no push button CRM that works for everything, and it's magical and stuff. It's just a freaking tool, right? So, but we'll tell you which ones are depending, right? If you're technical, go with this one. If you're not technical, go with this one, right? If you don't want none of that, just go with the spreadsheet and just keep track and make sure you're working your stuff every single day and you will become successful. You will get to where you want to get to. Action will happen for you, right? And then results rinse and repeat. Now, uh, so, so surfing for deals, okay? Surfing for deals, if you do this, you will get deals. So think about it, I just did some simple numbers for you. If you did 20 a day and you did it five days a week, what if you did it seven days a week, right? <laughs> do the math there. You know, that's, that's a, a few hundred leads, you know, a hundred something leads at the end of the day that you're going to work. But at least these are sellers that want to sell. Facebook's awesome. All the other places are awesome. Google, all those places, they all got their different uh, price points, retargeting, you know, Facebook ads, all that good stuff. It works. Cold calling works. It all works if you put the effort into doing it, right? But I'm giving you something really quick, really easy. So if you want to build your pipeline really quick and you want to talk to sellers really quick and you want to start making offers and setting appointments and getting a deal in under 30 days or so, it's totally up to you, right? If you're working it and you work it every day, you will. Now, if you get 100 something leads at the end of the month and you only work 10 or 20, well, whose fault's that? If you're a muse, maybe you'll, man, the first 10 or 20, boom, you knock it out. But then there's going to be something in the middle, something in the, towards the end where you're going to have a dry spot. What are you going to do? Right? Keep building your pipeline. Keep working at it. Keep building your pipeline. If you keep doing that and being consistent, then eventually you're scaling and growing. Then you have other people do those things that you don't want to do, but you got to learn it in the beginning. If you already know it and you're good at that stuff and you already got a team, hey man, God bless you. Rock and roll. Do this little simple thing and hand it over to somebody and let them lead gen for you and you become the acquisition manager or the lead or the listing agent, whatever. But at least they're hitting the off market stuff bring it to the table for you okay now like I mentioned before there's gonna be some links here you got amp live take a look at some testimonials there's gonna be um, a link there it's like a simple survey if you take the simple survey all that means is that uh, we're gonna see if we're a good fit and we'll do a call 
You can pick my brain, pick our brain, doesn't matter. If you can get some value out of it, awesome. If not, that's cool. Don't worry about it. The other one is if you read all the way or if you watched all the way to the end of this video, there's a bonus, right? It's gonna be a PDF that has some of these templates in there. It'll have some stuff in there that you can use, take into the field and go for it. Uh, also, uh, if you decide that you wanna be part of the 30 day challenge, PM us, talk with us, watch the videos, stuff will be coming up, be part of it, and you can jump aboard and be part of that 30 day challenge, okay? If you decide that, hey, I wanna get involved with this one-on-one -on -one mentoring stuff, what is that all about? How does it work? Take take uh, do that link, the survey link. Tell us a little bit about yourself because it's a selection process. We're not selling. There's not a bunch of videos. Here you go, videos and PDFs and all kinds of other stuff. We're literally going to work with you and see if we're a good fit and if we're a good fit and figure out what your goals are and then put a target together, put a game plan call together, and then we're going to move forward. Kind of like what we're just talking about now. We're going to get your mind to where it needs to. We're going to work on your mindset. We're going to work on your goals. And then we're going to go ahead and make sure you understand how to break down a deal. Then we're going to do role play. In the, in the meantime, we set you up with the lead gen page and all that stuff. Regular humans uh, take care of the onboarding for you. So there will be links and stuff that you got to check and all that good stuff. While, while we're working on stuff, that stuff's being done in the back end. Once it's all ready to roll, you just check it, verify it, and make sure it all works. And then from there, we go ahead and do the role play. Back and forth, seller, buyer, good seller, bad seller, buyer, back and forth. Um, once we're done with that and you're confident and you feel that you're confident enough to get on the horn, then we're going to surf for deals. We're going to blow up that phone and email and text. We're going to start working deals together. And then we're going to start going from there after that. And we're going to start hitting data, CRMs. And then we're going to start getting into pre-foreclosure stuff and tax defaults and how it all works. Marketing and everything else is supplied and rebranded for you. So it just helps you get started very quickly. Or you might just say, look, I'm ready to rock and roll, man. I just want to get systems set up. Uh, I, want, I want to learn the art of the deal. I want to learn creative real estate investing. I want to learn subject to existing financing the right way, the real way. Uh, I want to learn options. I want to learn seller financing. I want to be prepared for what's coming. Then great. Let's get on the fall. Let's get on a call and see if we're, if we're fit. It's very simple. It doesn't cost you a dime. It does take our time. So it's our dime, our time. Pick our brain, write down your notes and, and go with it, right? Opportunities happen if you you know when when God sends you opportunities, you open your eyes and you recognize and you know that the opportunities are there. You do it. You go for it. You got nothing to lose. What do you have to lose? So you go for it. You set an appointment. Let's chat. Otherwise, that's cool. Keep on watching videos. Keep on doing what you're doing. Or if you're seasoned, and you got stuff lined out. Rock and roll. Just connect with us too. If you got deals, hey, we'll look at them. We'll work them. We'll make offers. We'll buy them. Uh, investors. If you're an investor and you got money and you're looking for deals and need inventory or money you want to invest, give us a holler, okay? Uh, but that's that's uh, so take a look at those links. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and type in anything. We'll get back to you. If you want to, if it's private, and you want to PM us. That's cool too. Go for it. Um, then we'll connect and uh, we'll talk a little bit more and answer any and all questions you may have. But surfing for deals is going to help you, okay? Get that report. Get that PDF. And then after surfing for deals, obviously, you know, there's other things that are involved, right? Creative real estate investing. I'm going to give you my two cents on that. Creative real estate investing, super important for the new cycle that's coming, right? Um, kind of like the last cycle. Last cycle is a different, totally different thing. It was the mortgage fiasco and a bunch of other stuff, right? But uh, a cycle is a cycle. And, and we got the Chinese virus thing and a bunch of other stuff that's happening. It's inevitable. Properties cannot sustain and continue to go up and go up and go up. Uh, there, there, it's, there's going to be a breaking point, right? Um, so, it's all right. Stuff's going to happen. Just be prepared for it. Last cycle, 50% and probably not going to be as high. 50% of all agents, brokers went out of business. 50% of all investors and things of that nature went out of business. Second time around, big dogs came in like Blackstone and all those other companies went for all the bank stuff. right? And for the regular investors, or investors who are not the Blackstones of America, right, went after all the low-hanging fruit. I love foreclosures, short sales are okay, they take a little bit of time. REOs, you know, pain in the ass, but you're going to have to deal with them. We're going to have to deal with them. I'm going to deal with them. It is what it is, right? You know, hindsight's twenty twenty. Go for it, learn it, be the best you possibly can. Read Think and Grow Rich, it's an awesome book. If you haven't already read it, read it over and over and over. Read it at least three times, get your mindset rolling, okay? And then start marking in the book, start making the book yourself. Get the 17 Principles of Success, Success by Napoleon Hill. Make it your business Bible. Read it. Use it as a reference guide. Okay. Um, I think I've read it so many times that it's just embedded in my head. And sometimes, uh, you know, 
We're all human beings. We're going to move forward and it's going to fire us up. I like to play, I like to crank up the rock and roll and get my stuff going, right? That, that's, my, that's my magic elixir. Along with some good reading and, and mindset and moving forward and feeling good about what's happening, what's transpiring. And there's other times you just don't feel it, man. You're trying to, hey, you know what, I'm just take a damn break, right? But if you got a regular job, you're going to have to go to, go to work with that attitude. You're going to have to change that attitude. But if you're reading and you're studying and you're moving forward in that direction, it'll help you at your, when you're at work, right? Because then you're thinking, hey, I'm at work. Yeah, this sucks, you know what, but I'm going to do something bigger and better, right? And that keeps you fired up. And those books will keep you fired up, right? The mindset, the only thing you have control over, and I tell my son every single day, is that is your mind, right? That's the only thing that you have total control over to decide, you know, what, 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 how you want to be and how you want to act at the end of the day. Okay, we're all human beings, and life's going to get in its way. Life is what it is. That's what it's there for, <laughs> to get in your way. Your job is to move forward and beat the shit out of life, have a lifestyle, either, you know, do, do, do work your passion, right? Whatever's going to push you forward at the end of the day. You know, we're all human beings. If you're young, you're middle-aged, you're old, you're older, it doesn't matter, right? Life is awesome. Be, 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 be appreciative uh, of the day uh, that you get to wake up, man, right? Every day we get to wake up and we're not dead, we're not six feet under. Uh, we got we got America. We got human beings. We got all this cool stuff that, uh, that that we got going for us in this country, as well as around the world. And some people have a little harder, you know. So be appreciative of the things that you do have. Move forward. Help your fellow American, like we say, and Americans helping Americans. The AHA Americans helping Americans. One American at a time. One property at a time. One family at a time. Let's do our part to keep America on track. Okay. Let's get America back on track. You know. And let's just, made in America, that's where it should be. I'm made in America, right? If you're made in America, awesome. If you're not, that's okay too, right? We're all human beings, that's what it's about. It's the number one thing is that we're all human beings and we're all on the same level of thinking and, uh, to a point, right? Everybody's gonna have different levels and that's where the reading comes in. I won't get into that philosophical stuff. But the bottom line is you got four things you need to do. First one is get your mind set. The second one is obviously going to be how to break down deals, right? Get those little formulas together. ARV, repairs, right? 70, 75% all in, because that's what investors are wanting right now, right? And that may include your fee. Uh, 60, 65, 70 cents on the dollar. And then mark it up and do what you need to do. Uh, role play, super important, the art of the deal. That's really the only thing that has not changed. There's been little changes here and there because of social media and marketing and all technology and all that good stuff in YouTube, but the art of the deal is still the art of the deal, right? Negotiating. People are gonna work with you and buy from you because they like you, right? Not because you, you know, it says Coca-Cola, right? I don't give a shit about Coca-Cola, you know, but you know, it is what it is. They spend a lot of money to get you all ramped up to drink Coca-Cola or to drink Pepsi. Shit, I don't even drink any of that shit anymore, right? Uh, never have, really, not too much, you know? Uh, coffee is what it is, right? That's a choice. Uh, so think about it. Marketing is marketing. Marketing will have the propaganda. It'll push the propaganda on you. But your job is to connect with the seller. Connect with the seller. Qualify the seller. Provide a solution to the seller. And you'll get the deal. Now, you're not going to always get them, right? Because there's a percentage point. There's a percentage. You're not going to lock up every deal. And don't let your ego get in the way. Man, I really want to help these people. Man, I know I can really do this deal. Uh, sometimes you need to walk away. Walk away and let somebody else do it if you can make it happen. Or try to help them. Give them some marketing. You got some marketing dollars, pop a sign in their front yard. Do it for free, right? A lot of agents used to do that back in the day. Tom Hopkins, he'd give you marketing for free, but he would do it just to scare the shit out of you. Here you go. Here's all the contracts. Here's what you need. Here's some signage. Here's the numbers. You take all the calls. You do it all yourself, right? Saying Eventually, they're saying, man, I need a professional. This shit sucks. I need a professional real estate agent <laughs> or a broker or, in this case, a real estate investor to help me get my property sold. Well, obviously, you can't do that, but you're to buy your property, right? To be able to say, look, you know, a lot of times we'll give free marketing out. Give free marketing out. Put a yard sign out there. Put a flyer box out there. Put them on your website. Give them a national 800 number and an extension and say, hey, if you sell your property, give me a testimonial. This is for my marketing services company, whatever it's named, and let them do that. That's an awesome tip for you that I'm dropping on you right now that I don't share with others. But if you can do that and you, and you got a couple of bucks to, to set that up for people, they'll ask you, why? Why would you give me free marketing? I don't understand. Well, because you know that every property 
or every seller or buyer, and I should say, excuse me, that everybody who calls is not going to buy your property, okay? Every person who calls, whether it's a seller, some looking you down the street, an investor or buyer is not going to buy that property. You want all the other ones, right? If five or ten sellers are interested in that particular property, even if it don't sell, you're still going to work those leads. But if it does, those are all for the seller. Let them take the calls. Let them take the, you know, uh, 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 you know, all the text messages and everything else. Let them print the flyers up because you give them a template. Let them print it. Let them put that stuff out there. But you got your sign, your marketing services company signs out there, right? And then go ahead, you know, and all those calls that come in are yours. You're going to let them know. You're being transparent. You're not deceiving anybody saying, whoever doesn't buy your house, I'm going to talk to them. And I'm either going to sell them a house or I'm going to buy their house or I'm going to work with the buyer, the investor, the whoever it is, I'm going to work those leads, right? And those are all free leads. Oh, I got one. Call them free, but not really, right? There's time involved. And there's going to be a couple of bucks to get that marketing in place and set up for them, right? Awesome, genius way to do it, right? A lot of people don't do it. Trust me. Did it last cycle. Um, you know, and, and this cycle, you know, if, if you can afford it, go for it, right? Two, three hundred bucks. Get a yard sign, a frame, a flyer box, you know, put it on your website. Give them a national 800 number with an extension. All that stuff's easy peasy nowadays, right? Doesn't cost as much as it used to be a long time ago. Try that and then let me know how it goes, okay? You got questions about that? Hit me up, PM, or type in some stuff and we'll get back to you, all right? Fill out that link, a little survey. Tell us about yourself. Tell us about yourself and let's see if we're a good fit. And even for not, it doesn't matter. It'll be an awesome 30 minutes. You get to pick my brain, get to pick our brain, get to ask all kinds of cool questions. And if it helps you out in your business, awesome. We did our part, right? It means we're helping our fellow American. You go out and do the same, okay? So I'm going to employ and challenge you to do that, to go out and help your fellow American, whether you're buying their property or whether you're going to help them in the business and put them, pull them under your wing and do that. Um... And, you know, hopefully they add value to you at the end of the day because no one's going to teach you for free. No one's going to help you in this business for free because they're doing their thing. Or, you know how it is. This is a monetary world we live in. <laughs> Nothing's free. College is not free, right? Education's not free. Food's not free. You know, we're not raising cattle in our own backyard so we can eat, right, and then trade that shit off. That was a long time ago, <laughs> right? So, you know, keep, keep, that, keep that in mind. That if you want to work with somebody or find a mentor, bring tremendous value to the table. Make sure that you're coachable. Make sure that you're willing to follow directions and not tell somebody how to mentor or coach you. Okay. Take action. Well, I just skip the step. Show up to the damn party. You need to show up. If you don't show up, you're not doing yourself any justice. You're not doing anybody else any justice. Show up to the party. Next is take action. If you take action, you're going to get results. Good or bad, it doesn't matter until you get the good ones. Then you talk about it. You figure out what happened with those results. And then you rinse and repeat. Do it again and over and over and over. Pretty simple process, right? But it does take work. It does take practice. Like anything else, you have to practice and practice and practice to be the best. Time will tell. Time is always going to be there. Time, you can't, you know, you can't exchange that. Time, there's no, you can't put a price on time. Right? You can't put a price on someone's time and someone's expert uh, tease at the end of the day because they paid their freaking dues. If you paid your dues, cool. Go out and help your fellow Americans. Right? If you paid your dues, you got some deals you want to send her away, let's work them. Right? You want to chat and talk? Let's, let's chat and talk. Um, we're just here to add some value, hopefully. And hopefully we've done that today. Uh, so the four steps, right? We're going to go ahead and get your mindset going. You need to get your goals together. Right? Have, have a target. You got to understand how to break down deals, right? So you have your ARV and your repairs and offer one, two, and three for your investors. Make sure you mark it up or if you're going to list it and take it down and fix it or find a deal for an investor and then list it after they repair it. Awesome. That stuff works too. Uh, make sure you get the role play. You know, get in there. Get some scripts. Practice, 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 practice with others, right? Uh, we'll probably be doing that inside the groups. If you join our 30-day challenge, we're going to be doing some role play. If you join the six-month one-on-one mentoring, awesome, right? We're going to do role play until you get it. We won't go to the next phase until you get it. I always say, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time, okay? In this business and in everything that you do in life, there's always going to be an elephant that's dropped on you. And you're either going to suffocate you're either going to adapt or you're going to perish. Or you're going to say it didn't work. Or this didn't work. Or that didn't work. It's not that none of it didn't work. It's just that you didn't want to work for it, right? I get it. 
been there, done that, sometimes still do it, right? It's called life. But if you're gonna tear up that elephant, eat it one bite at a time, barbecue it, fillet it, you know, freaking do 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 the goddamn buffet action to it, and eventually once you're done eating that whole sum bitch, <laughs> all right, you're gonna get to where you wanna get to. Whether it was one year, two years, three years, five years, six years, eight years, ten years, fucking twenty years, it doesn't matter. The bottom line is that you never, ever fucking quit at what you're going to do if you have a passion for it. Excuse my French, okay? Get a little passionate about some stuff here, but the bottom line is you don't quit. Don't listen to people's shit, right? Make sure you follow through because you're the only one that has control of your own life. You decide what you want to do with your life, okay? Now, I'm done with the philosophical stuff, but the last step is surfing for deals. Deals, deals, deals. Once you get got the art of the, of, of, of the deal down and you're good at it or if you're already good at it, you just need leads, Surf for deals, surf for deals, surf for deals, do 10 or 20, right? Put them onto those websites. You got Craigslist, you got Facebook Marketplace, you got Zillow, you got all kinds of different places where people are wanting to sell their property off market. Do 10 or 20 of those a day. You're going to get a 30, 40% response rate. Do it five to seven times a day. I say do it seven times if you're hungry like me. When I always got started, right? Five days. That's cool. If you don't do it, you're not going to get anything out of it. If you don't do it, you're not going to get any leads. You have to go pay for leads. You can do Facebook. Facebook works too. Hey, if you join the 30-day challenge, we're going to be doing Facebook for you. We're going to set it up for you. We're going to plug you into a CRM. We're going to run ads for you and run the campaigns for you while you're doing surfing for deals as well. So you're going to have double the amount of leads. Okay. Same thing for the six-month one-on-one mentoring, but only when you're ready for it. Right? If it's first 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, it don't matter. It's not a race. It does not matter because it's not a race. But when you're ready for it, then we bring that to the table. You want to put the cart before the horse, right? A lot of people getting up their systems and setting this up and all that good stuff. I get it. That's what I did because I was serious about doing a business and I got my brand together and I set everything up and I set my LLC, my corporation. I set up everything because I was planning. That was it. I'm doing this. I'm going to leave my damn job to do this full time. Not everybody has the luxury of doing that. Uh, it wasn't even a luxury because I was still working 48 hours at a regular job and doing real estate every other week and hour, right? It took me four months to get my first deal, but it took me 12 months to set up my website, set up my systems, to set up my contracts, to pay an attorney to check it, check all this stuff out. Once I knew everything worked, 12 months later, I started hunking and chunking and hunking and chunking, hitting the wall, hitting the wall, hitting the wall, hitting the wall. Shit, man, I thought I was going to get a divorce at the end of the day, right? Four months later, I got my first deal. Then I found my mentor. Then I bought tremendous value to other people. Then I opened up my little small office, right? And then investors started coming to the table. Saying, look, here's my checkbook. I'm ready to do some deals, right? And then the market came, right? Had tons of deals, fixing and flipping, fixing and flipping, fixing and flipping. But shit, you know, stuff happens. Market took a shit. Had to decide. Made a decision. Hindsight's 2020, right? Should have kept a lot of properties, didn't. But at least unloaded them, didn't get stuck with them. This cycle is here. This cycle's a blessing. I'm sharing that with you. I'm sharing these blessings with you to tell you that you can do it. Go after it. Buckle down, right? Bootstrap the son of a bitch if you have to. If you have the luxury and money to do it, then go for it. But don't let that kind of cloud your, your vision or, or your, 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 your thinking. Because sometimes when you're up against the wall, you do your best work, right? When it's given to you, you're not. You're not going to do your best work because it's given to you, right? You still got to work for it at the end of the day and then go for it. If it happens, it happens. If it don't, then you keep on trying. You keep on trying. You keep on going for it. You wake up the next day and you say, thank you for allowing me to be awake and allow me to have this day and, and, and move forward. Okay? But surfing for deals will definitely explode your email, your text, and your phone with leads. Go for it. Okay? If you do come aboard, we do have software that we share with everybody. Right? You get that software. Make it easy peasy. So instead of taking an hour or two to get your you know, 15, 20 done, get it done in about 30 minutes or less. Right? And then you move on. Then we move on to data, we move on to calls, we move on to text marketing, we move on to uh, regular voice message, a little bit of direct mail, but sniper mail. You're not going to be sending out 15, 20, 30,000 letters every month unless you want to, or you're geared up for it and you got a team, but we'll work on all that before that happens, right? So think about those things, all those things and tools that I just mentioned, text marketing, ringless voice message, direct sniper mail, all that good stuff, are all tools, right? You can have all the tools in the world, but if you suck at taking those calls, and you suck at the art of the deal, it don't matter. It does not matter, right? Uh, but they're there, and it's awesome because they are, right? 
When I got started back in 2003, it was a national 800 number, a local number, and, and Google. Now you got fucking Facebooks like Google, right? <laughs> Look at their ecosystem. Tons of people in there. Tons of people on Instagram. Tons of people on Twitter. There's stuff everywhere where you can market and retarget. It's awesome if you can afford it and you can understand it. You know, so we usually, we, we're, we're bringing that to the table for you, okay? So think about it. Uh, check out those links. If you want to reach out and chat, let's do it. We're not for everybody and everybody's not for us. Hopefully, we brought tremendous value to you today. So step one, get your mind set together. Read those books, Think and Grow Rich, 17 Principles of Success, Napoleon Hill, anything you can get your hands on. Two, learn how to break down those deals, ARV, repairs, offer one, two, and three. If you come aboard and you're working with us, it's going to be creative real estate investing. So it's going to be offer one, two, three, cash. And then we're going to go terms, cash and terms. If it's not cash and terms, then we're going to go all terms. If it's not that, then we're going to do an option. If we're not going to do that, we can't make that happen, then we're going to do marketing. We'll offer marketing to the seller and then walk away. If we can't help them, hey, we tried, we did our best, and we move on to the next one, right? Uh, but um, follow-up super important, okay? So if you don't have a CRM, probably get one. Um, text marketing and drips, email drips, super important, does work. If you're not calling your list more than five or six times, then yeah, you're not going to get your 10 to 15%. Some people go, oh, I only got 2% out of my list. You know, that answered, right? Not conversions, but people have answered. Okay, well, it's because you called the list one time. You got to call it five, six times. Text blast the shit out of people. I know, hey, I'm, you know, like I said, um, not giving you legal advice or whatever, or telling you if you want to do it, you do it. You do it on your own at the end of the day, right? Um, it's just like telemarketing, all that other good stuff. People say certain things and certain advice. So, you know, hey, no bullshit, no drama. It is what it is. Use it, go for it. If you got feedback, cool. I can take it, right? Um, been around for a while. Uh, surfing for deals, do it. Um, what else we got? Hopefully that helps you. It will, I guarantee it. If you do those things, if you do those four things, do the role play, understand, get yourself a lead gen page, uh, get people to fill it out, or you have to call them and fill out the information, and then surf for deals, 10 to 20, let's say 20 a day, that's uh, times five, that's 400. 400 replies, you're gonna get about 120 leads out of that, right? It's free. 120 leads, trust me. Here, here, here's the numbers for you. Talk to 20 people, 20 solid good leads you talk to. Five to seven appointments, out of five to seven appointments, maybe you'll write up one to three offers and get one to two accepted, okay? But you gotta go through the process to make that happen, right? If you need help with that, give us a holler, let's talk. If you got it covered, take that juicy nugget and some of these other juicy nuggets, put it into uh, action in your field. Guarantee it, the stuff is out there. I'm not making this shit up. It's coming from experience. <laughs> And it's coming from what has transpired and analyzing things and checking out the conversions and doing them, testing these things, and we'll never lead you wrong, okay? If it's not working, then we're not going to do it, right? If it's working, then we'll share it. There'll be software and things of that nature that we'll share with people as well, okay? Or just methods, all right? So without further ado, without further ado, I'll say uh, rock and roll and all that you do. In God we trust, right? Go out and help your fellow Americans if you have not. Go out and do it now. Do it today. And as always, like I always like to say, rock and roll in all that you do. Okay? Have a good one. Thank you.